This is Rebo Lube and Jake here has been preparing the chain ready for this lube and it is like, what, 16 pages? Something like that. <laughs> of it's instructions. Like... 20 odd steps of how to clean a chain. So Jake's the expert, but I thought this would be quite good fun. We put the community post up actually, and you guys said, yeah, tell us about this. Now, it's dead interesting. It looks like it's being produced in like a little cottage industry. The whole instructions looks like it's been done from a Word document in the 1990s. Yep. But like, we're okay with that. That's how we started. That's all cool. Um, Jake, what have you done so far? just about everything you could imagine to try and clean a chain. Um, it's very clean, granted. Um, yeah. So we've got the solvent cleaner. So it says here yeah. we either clean in the Revolubes cleaner, which is a 10 pound cleaner. Yeah. We used um, a solvent degreaser that we have here, which says we can use. And like 12, oh, you've yeah, been doing well, it days, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, it was, when did we start? Yeah, Monday morning. Yeah. It's so, probably had a good 12, yeah. uh, overnight, isn't it? Yeah, we like, left it overnight in the, uh, in the solvent cleaner um, and then took it out of that and dried it and then put it in this, <laughs> yeah. put it in shampoo and water um, so. to then clean all the, like, yeah. the chemicals out, the solvent off, and left that overnight. And that's actually in the instructions. Once you've disposed yeah. of all the solvent, so you've got to think about how you recycle that. So we've stolen Ben's shower gel. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Uh, and bizarrely, that's what it says in the instructions, isn't it? So you actually use shower gel. And now the chain is, like it is spotless. I mean, this is a new chain, wasn't it? Yeah. And it is, and there's still black muck coming off it after all that, which is incredible. Yeah, yeah. The tub, the first tub was filthy after the solvent, which is impressive. So what happens next? The next step is to now, once you've cleaned and degreased the chain, <laughs> you're onto the application stage, where you, I think you refit the chain to the bike, and you have to add a drop of this to every single individual chain link. So that's pretty Not standard. Just, I've just noticed at 16 degrees, we yes. better put the heating on. <laughs> I need to do this. I have to charge him for the heating though. It's, it's like, yeah, <laughs> extra, extra hidden cost. Right, let's see how we go. Wipe off any extras with a cloth. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, 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 seven, e
another 12 months potentially. Yeah. We'll try and keep you informed as best we possibly can. There we go. I hope that video was somewhat useful and informative of some of the crazy innovative stuff that's going out there in little cottage industries like this. I kind of hope it does work. I really hope that someone's invented something really cool and we can get on top of all these crazy instructions. Right, thanks for watching everybody. Take it easy.